Hey you guys, welcome to day 12 of my decluttering challenge. We are going to do medicine cabinet today. My medicine cabinet is actually in my kitchen. In my medicine cabinet, however, I also have my most used spices. So I'm just going to declutter the whole cabinet. If you do feel like you're gonna have a little bit of extra time, clean out the cabinet. You would be amazed at how much dust is in there. This is a little microfiber cloth, as well as the Method All-Purpose Spray and Glass Cleaner. And I get this from the Grove Collaborative. I will leave a link below. So what I'm going to do is ensure that none of my medicines have expired and that they're actually still used. Sometimes I get a kid's multivitamin or something that they just do not like. I'm also going to empty this clear tote out and then give it a quick wipe down as well. Ibuprofen, important. This honey chest doll, oh my goodness you guys, go to Amazon and grab this. It is the best stuff. I use it for adults and children alike. A multivitamin, the mucinex that is always oh so helpful. Of course, the sticker actually covers up the expiration date. Benadryl, always good to keep on hand. The items that fell on the floor. Oh, finally, something to throw away. These comb gummies are a lifesaver if you have anxiety. So here's what the children's one looks like. I do from time to time put the adult ones in here if they are kids safe because the adult one is so full. I need to turn that like way down. Let's go through the adult one next. Okay, so I will take really close look at the expiration date. I don't even, I can't even read this. This is 2018. That's out of here. All right. I would also like to put adult, um, medicine or something on the side of it make it look pretty yeah. that is for another day so you know it just comes down to putting the items back in here that you know you're going to use and if you're not going to use them either find a new home for them if they're not expired or toss them out so here's a couple of items that were gifted to me and i have yet to use them i'm going to set them aside so i can talk to my husband about it Stop. August 2018. This one is so almost gone. Look at this, you guys. There are literally four pills in here, which is two days worth of vitamins. These are my husband's. He is going to be taking those. There is no excuse. And look at that. I can almost fit. Let's see, these prescriptions are probably done. I did get rid of quite a few, so I am pretty proud of myself. I will just put these guys out front. Like I said, we're kind of easier to access items. All right, so there you have it. Not the prettiest, but definitely, definitely going to work for now. I've got the Tylenol ibuprofen out front like we would use it. This prescription's just going to be right behind the pillar because it's not needed every day. And then the couple of bags are just going to go off to the side. Okay, so now that I'm done with the medicine portion, as promised, I'm going to go through this really quickly 
I shouldn't have anything expired here, but I do want to straighten it up. I have promised and promised and promised I'm going to make this with the kids. I'm going to put it right up front to remind me. So great, we have that side really decluttered. We'll go ahead with this side. Let me move over here. Aren't these cute? I actually never use pepper ever 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 if you guys are a chef just smack me through the tv i never use pepper but i do keep pepper because one thanksgiving my sister asked hey aaron where's the pepper i'm like i i don't have pepper <laughs> don't come to my house and expect gourmet food so <laughs> let's just get to going i'll empty this out wipe it out put everything back i love this little um I don't, riser and I love this little hanging basket here they have been an absolute space saver for me I really really appreciate them I actually put over here my most used items so I didn't have to reach up here this is just a cooking spray that is non aerosol and my Lowry's garlic salt and then some regular salt it works absolutely wonderful to have it up here it's really the only those three things i love it so now that i wiped it out and got salt all over it and wiped it out again just same thing check for expiry put them back So this here, this little container is actually where I put the baking soda. I like it sealed. I don't like keeping it in that little cardboard box because the cardboard box isn't sealed. <laughs> and obviously, as you know, why do we keep baking soda in the fridge to absorb odors? So I like keeping it in a sealed container. Also, I buy like the big, you know, 15 pound bag to use in cleaning around the house. So that's one reason I don't want to be double dipping or anything like that. It stays in here and uh, use it as needed for baking. This is day 12, like I said. Come back tomorrow for day 13. We have another topic to declutter. We're only doing this 15 minutes at a time. I know that some of you have much, much bigger tasks to take, but I do have some of those larger tasks because I have been struggling with this myself. I wish you all the very best. And hopefully this gave you a little bit of motivation and you cleaned right along with me. I will see you guys next time tomorrow, day 13. Bye.